Welcome back to Heartland Dual Sport. Guys, I've got to ask you a real quick question. Is your helmet safe? Over the past couple of years or several years, every now and again I'll do a video about my new, my new helmet. If you guys remember, I bought a new one right before I took the took the trip to Michigan, as well as when I rode out to the East Coast. I had several people asking me about this next helmet, and I've never really thought about it in the past because I didn't really think it mattered, made much difference, but I want to hear from you guys. Recently, I watched a video, and Virginia Tech started a program, let's just say roughly... 15 years ago because I don't have the exact date guys this is just going to be a general story but Virginia Tech started a program if you will because a lot of their football players were getting injured so they started a program testing football helmets and what they discovered was they were actually being able to have less injuries their players were playing better and ultimately it created a new standard for testing football helmets. And you might be asking yourself, well what does football helmets have to do with motorcycle helmets? Well in the end, safety being the biggest concern, what, what are your odds of getting a concussion if you do have a dramatic hit? And what is your savability? Now, I did a lot of thinking about this and I started doing some research and as many of you know, most of your helmets, and this one included, the one I'm wearing right now, is DOT certified. And you might be asking yourself, well, if it's DOT certified, it's got to be safe, right? Well, not so fast. And here's where the problem comes in. I did a little bit more research into Snell. Snell is the other standard when you start talking about helmet safety and... For you to better understand this, you need a little bit of history about Snell. Snell was a racer, and not a motorcycle racer, like a car racer. And he ended up dying in a crash from head injuries, wearing a DOT certified helmet. So there was a foundation set up called Snell, S-E-N-E-L-L. -L. And what they started doing is they started making stricter standards for testing and evaluating the helmets. We're going to go back to Virginia Tech for just a minute. Virginia Tech has expanded from testing not only football helmets, they test mountain bike helmets or bicycle helmets and a whole slew of other helmets from different categories of like kayaking and stuff like that where head injuries are sometimes a commonplace. So a lot of your places that have, especially in, and I'm, we're going to stick to more of an athletic instead of the motorsports, but anything a lot more athletic, they're doing a lot of testing on. And you might be asking yourself, well, how much does it cost to do the testing? As a helmet manufacturer, it costs you five helmets. You send those five helmets to Virginia Tech, and they will run them through a series of tests. Realistically, they only need four helmets to do the test and make a conclusive result. And then they rank the helmets. So, they have a, the extra one just in case something happens and maybe there's a misread or whatever. But the, all of the technology they're using is highly calibrated in a very scientific way of measuring impacts to the head and your survivability. So back to Snell and DOT. DOT is the state or the nation's, you know, minimum requirement to pass. Snell has doubled those requirements. Kind of like if you think about a guy that's in the Navy versus a Navy SEAL. The Navy SEAL training is much more strenuous than just the basic Naval Academy. Now, 
that's assuming that I'm correct. Obviously, I wasn't either, and I'm not pretending to be. I'm just using that as an example for some of you who are in military and or maybe you as in some sort of elite group where your standards were much higher, sometimes twice, three, four times higher, and that's how SNAIL works. SNAIL is a nonprofit foundation, and unfortunately, at the time of this video, I'm not 100% certain how they're testing the helmets. I'm not sure if it cost anything or if it's free like Virginia Tech. But it's something to think about because, if, like I said, I've had people ask me in the past about helmets. And I'm going to show you some B-roll of some of our old helmets. All of them are DOT. And after reading the story about Mr. Snell who passed away in an automobile wearing a helmet from a head injury, it made me ponder is this helmet safe is the helmet that I'm wearing safe it's DOT certified it's not snail certified and I'm assuming without pulling it up Shelly and a lot of those others are probably all snail as well I for years honestly to be honest with you I thought that this next helmet was snail certified but it's not it does not have the snail sticker and guys I'm not a helmet professional so if I'm wrong about that and this helmet is snail approved or passed whatever words more appropriate please comment down below but this is something that I found interesting now back to Virginia Tech if any of you guys have been following my channel for very long you know that I used to be a bike officer in Oklahoma and it was for one of the larger agencies in the state and I rode a mountain bike for 10 hour shifts, roughly 10 years of my 26 career. 26 years at that career. Now the reason I'm telling you this is mountain biking is still a big part of how I try to stay fit. Now, many of you know that we did move from Oklahoma. Oh wow, there's a deer. Hey little guy. <laughs> oh there's three, four, four. Oh man, I'm sorry. I get I get so sidetracked. I love seeing deer. I hope you guys could see them. Again, guys, I'd like to hear some from you. What is, what is your experience? I know that a lot of people ride the Shelly helmets and those more expensive ones. This helmet, in my mind, I think is about a $450, $500 helmet. And again, I always thought it was Snell approved, but I pulled it down after watching all the bicycle helmet videos and realized that this is not snell approved and one thing if you guys go over to virginia tech and i'll leave a link down below especially if you ride mountain bikes every helmet that, that goes in there that's been tested they're ranked in order and as far as one through 200 or whatever as far as the what the best safety score is and there's a lot more information on their website and that's why too belong for just a moto vlog but again i'll leave a link down below if you're interested one of the things that i did find surprising is some of the 50 dollar helmets were actually scoring better than some of the 300 dollar helmets so it begs the question is your helmet safe and it's something to think about it's something we all need to think about Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week. And let's go ride. <laughs>